are in partnered with um, Skills for Change in um, an initiative that started out in, I guess, about two years ago, which is the Provincial's Access for Women's Access to Trades Network. So what my role is at MicroSkills is not only to, um, to actually encourage women to get into the skills trades, but to help them with retaining the, uh, their jobs within the skills trades. So I work in many different, um, wear many different hats. In some aspects, I work with the pre-apprenticeship programs that we have here at MicroSkills. And I also work with, um, out there in the community, and I do trades awareness to women um, in the communities. Sometimes I go into the schools and talk to the schools to let them know a little bit about trades. And then also with the Provincial Access Network, we have um, yearly trade forums for women to really um, talk to all levels, um, to the government level, to the employer level, to the community levels, to the school levels, to try to encourage them to let them know about the skill shortage that is coming out. Um, that's here actually, it's not coming, it's here. And to let them embrace the fact that we do, women are 51% of the population and that they um, have, um, they can work in skill trades just as much as a man can work in skill trades and bridge that gap that we have in shortage. So, why everyone is aware of the big huge shortage that we have, right? Everyone is aware of that. Now, how many women are in skills trades? Does anyone know how many women are in skill trades? No? Okay. So there are approximately in Canada alone, there's about 10% of women are in skills trades. That's across Canada. In Ontario, we just got a recent statistic from the ministry indicating what is the percentage of each, um, each skill trade across Ontario. So in, um, I would say in the automotive sector, there's only 3% of women in Ontario that are apprentices. That's a, that, these are people who are registered as apprentices. There are only 2% of women in the construction sector in Ontario. There are 4% of women in the industrial trade sector in Ontario. And surprisingly or not, there's an overwhelming 60% of women in the service trades in Ontario. And the reason why there's such a large percentage of women in the service trades is because in the service trades, what's underneath the service trades are traditional women's type employment, which would be the hairstylist, which would be the um, child early child education assistant, the child development youth worker, um, the development work, youth worker, and um, some of the IT trades out there, there's a lot of women who work in the, um, the call centers and that sort of thing. So that's really what builds that population of skills trades. However, the demand's not in the service sector. The demand in the industrial sector, in the construction sector, and the automotive sector. And that's where we want to encourage more women to get into skills trades. So I. To get them into skilled trades, you hear the regular roots of, of getting into a skilled trade, which is to either, if you're a young woman, you can um, start off through Ontario um, Apprenticeship, OYAP, what it's called, Ontario Apprenticeship Youth Program. And, um, and so you can start in the high school level, which was already recommended. And then you also have the other way, which is just go find an employer. However, as we know, that sometimes can be difficult to go and find those employers, and that's why we have support through Employment Ontario um, services to help you with that assistance. And then there's the other route, which is the pre-apprenticeship route. And the pre-apprenticeship route is um, a unique opportunity. This is some of the pre-apprenticeship routes are funded by the Ontario government. The woman, Ontario Women's Directorate actually offers free pre-apprenticeship programs for Pacific areas. One is in horticulture, uh, one is in um, construction and carpentry, and one is in, yes, I think there's just con uh, two, there's two in construction and carpentry and two in horticulture across Ontario. And the ones that I am, we, MicroSkills works with the horticulture technician program, and I do know that in Burlington, there is the carpentry program, and then the other two are way far in Sudbury in the northern parts of um, Toronto, uh, Ontario. And so the purpose of the Ontario Women's Directorate offering these programs is to encourage women to get into the skills trade, to get the skill sets that they need, and then they work with employment counselors within these programs to help them with developing their job search skills and connections to employers that can embrace having women on their, um, in their businesses and are welcoming women into their businesses. We also talk a little bit about the, um, 
in, in the program we talk a little bit about how to handle situations in skills trades because as being a woman sometimes it is difficult to handle certain sexual harassment situations and so on and then there's some things that are um, you need to just have a thick skin I guess you can say with women you need to have thick skin and can handle some of the complaints and take it as a joke and then there's also a line that you have you need to be aware of and have, have not to cross it and so that's what our employment counselors do in these programs to let them know when it's okay when it's just being a buddy buddy system and when it's saying wait hold on you crossed the line okay so these are types of the programs the pre-apprenticeship programs that there are other pre-apprenticeship programs that are offered to all individuals not necessarily people who are women um, and that's through the and the ministry does offer these programs through community um, of agencies and training schools so i do know that centennial has partnered up with um, ywca to offer um, automotive um, automotive program and an electrical and construction program for pre-apprenticeship open to both men and women um, i do know that the um there was another one mostly automotive electrical and construction are normally the main ones that I've seen out there at this moment but they come rolling out they're going to be coming rolling out shortly because everything starts in probably April that's when all the new programs for pre-apprenticeship will be rolled out and some have criteria attached to it such as being in the youth range some of them have criteria such as being a woman and then others are just open to the general public with and no um, specific criteria attached to it and these are great programs because you're getting what is most likely your level one apprenticeship with these pre-apprenticeship programs. So you can get that start. And at the end, you're connected with an employer that can give you the starting um, range. And then at that time, that employer can hire you on as an apprentice. And that's when the ministry comes in place and takes on that role.